I started my periods just before my 11th birthday and I had them regularly for six months and then they just stopped. And I went from about a size eight in the September to a size 18 in the December pretty quickly. at school that your periods are irregular so just kind of put it to the back of my mind we went to the doctor because of my weight gain and then my hormone levels were just all over the place and that's when they knew I knew it was bad but I don't think I really fully understood it at that age so they said they were going to send me information but everything that came through the post it was just aimed at like grey-haired ladies all over the covers so I don't think I ever watched or read what I was sent it was when I got to the age of 16 and 18, it was really hitting me when I was thinking about boyfriends and things like that. I didn't really have that, you know, immature, the only worries of makeup and boys. I was always thinking about the cost of IVF when I was in my teens and pre-teens. It took a while to believe it because it's been 17 years of thinking it wasn't going to happen. My womb was only a couple of centimetres big and my lining was two millimetres thick. For pregnancy you need it to be eight to ten millimetres thick. When I had my investigations with my fertility clinic there was a mixed race donor who had donated her eggs and froze them. She was the same mix as me, height as me, hair and eye colour. After I have my baby, if and when I finish breastfeeding, I may go through the menopause again. I could get hot flushes or weight loss or weight gain. It made me feel like I was different to everyone else, that there was no one to help me. It was a very lonely time. I did feel like I wasn't really understood. I don't want young girls to feel how I did. <laughs> 